Hey everybody and welcome back to the Moto1 YouTube channel where today we are taking our first official look at the production spec Acura Integra. And we've already seen this in production form but today is our chance to fill you in on all the specs information and to show you the interior for the first time. So let's get started. So let's see this thing up close, right after I tell you that my audio files were corrupted from the shoot, unfortunately. So for most of this video, I'll be hanging out with you in the VO booth. The new Integra will start at around $30,000 and it will be offered in three trim levels, base, A-spec, and A-spec tech. The way things are packaged, almost all of the things you want are exclusive to the highest trim, including the best performance gear. So for any enthusiast watching this, know that you'll likely have to pay six or seven grand more for this car than you would a Civic Si. But let's reserve judgment until we actually drive the Integra, because we know that this car has the potential to be very special, regardless of price. The two cars you see here are both A-spec with technology package, meaning all the bells and whistles you can ask for. Starting in the front fascia, we see a new interpretation of Acura's diamond pentagon grill with less trim surrounding it and a more intricate grill pattern. Just below is the A-spec specific gloss black front intake. Every Integra comes with the company's chicane LED lighting signature and those neato jewel LED headlights. But before I go over the side profile, let me call out these 19 inch double five spoke wheels. These are the rollers that you'll get with the A-spec package. The Integra comes standard on 17 inch wheels and there will be designs up to 19s to pick from, but all of them will have this dark gray finish. This car sports the same wheel base as its Civic Si cousin and it's roughly 1.5 inches longer overall. Obviously the biggest difference is the liftback design, where the SI is sedan only. I have to admit, when I saw the Integra prototype dressed in that bright shade of yellow a few months ago, the proportions looked off. In this darker paint, the car has a more elegant shape, helped further by the A-spec dark trim around the windows. And just like the TLX, the plunging body line is a nice touch. Every Integra comes with dual exhaust outlets that Acura says offer a different sound to the SI thanks to some tuning tweaks. The car's name appears just below the taillight in a nod to old Integra generation generation, then I think it looks awesome. Before we peek under the hood, I'll pop the hatch for you. Yes, it's on the red car because that has an interior that most closely represents what a production car will look like. Tons of space for a car this size, and of course you have the ability to fold the seats down when you need that extra room. Okay folks, here's the part where some of you might start to raise pitchforks. The Integra has a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder making 200 horsepower and 192 pound feet, the exact same numbers as the Civic Si. It makes less power than a GTI, it makes less power than a 2 Series Grand Coupe. Between you and me, I think that little 1.5 is just tapped and couldn't make emissions regulations if they had given it more horsepower. That said, I think it's a bit of a letdown at 200 horsepower. You get the option of a six-speed manual transmission, but the Integra comes standard with the CVT. A-Spec and A-Spec Tech are your only options if you want the stick, although they both offer the CVT as well. Speaking of, the Integra's adaptive dampers are also only offered on A-Spec Tech, as is the individual drive mode that lets you adjust the car's dynamic settings one by one. Long story short, if you want the driver's car Integra, you need to shell out for a loaded model. Stepping inside, the Integra offers what I would call Civic Plus. It's without a doubt more premium than the Honda, but the overall material quality is lesser than an Audi A3. The seats are wonderful, with strong side bolstering and a nice mix of suede and leatherette. They're also power adjustable and heated in the front row. Acura is giving every Integra a 12.1 inch digital cluster, but just like some of the performance hardware, the best tech is reserved for the A-Spec tech trim. And as I'm saying that, the name suddenly makes sense. In that trim, you get a bigger nine inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with a wireless charging pad, ambient lighting, and the big ticket item, the 16 speaker ELS sound system. Admittedly, I didn't spend much time in the back seat, but I can tell you that headroom is pretty scarce thanks to that dipping roof line, and I'm not exactly tall. There was also a lack of rear seat air vents, which I think is a crime for any car that considers itself premium. At least there are two USB-C ports to keep everybody's phones charged up on trips. Okay, sending it back to real life, Clint, to take us home. So the Acura Integra goes on sale later this year. It starts again at just over $30,000 and we expect to drive it in the coming months where we can really fill in the entire picture and tell you what it's like, both as an enthusiast car and for anybody that's looking at an entry level luxury product as well. For all the information you need head to the story in the description and as always thanks for watching